The next question I get asked a lot is about bonding. Well, previously um, my favoured um, bonding would be um, Curé Dental and that would be Panavia V5. So I've used Panavia products literally since I was an undergraduate and I use Panavia EX. And obviously, if any of you are old enough to remember the old Panavia EX, it, it was an awful material to use. It took almost 10 minutes to set. The latest version of the Panavia is V5. That comes with a ceramic primer that you can use for ceramics. It has MDP in it, which will, which will increase the bond for zirconia. And the new Panavia V5 is, a, is, is basically a resin system that can be used for crown, it can be used for bridge, and now because of the good colours with it, you can use it for, for veneers as well. So that is a very good product. What is the kind of new kid on the block? Well, to some degree, the new kid on the block is the new Scotch Bond Universal Plus adhesive from 3M. And we have been using that very much since it was first introduced. And that is a product that, you know, there are similar products around. That would now be called what is your uni a universal bonding system. What are the benefits of the kind of the 3M product? Well, I've given, there are, you know, there are full lectures of me available talking about this product. Um, it works very well in self-etch mode, total etch mode, and it will also work very well in, you know, in just so many different circumstances. It is very moisture tolerant. And so with these materials, they have really moved on bonding. It also has very unique properties. It is radio opaque, the first bond to be radio opaque. In addition to that, it will also bond to care is affected dentine as well. So that, that's where we are at with bonding, really is the new 3M product. What else do I use? Yes, I use a number of other 3M products. When you hear me talk about tooth wear, etc., you'll hear me talk about bulk fill composites a lot. And we have the new Filtech One Bulk Fill Restorative that is what I would say available as a proper composite, but it's also available as a flowable composite. And those two products from 3M are absolutely fantastic as well. What is the final group of products that I, I certainly recommend is what would be called the self-adhesive resins. And some of you who know my work, we will have seen me lecture on things like the GC um, the GC um, Universal Self-Adhesive Resin. Um, but now what we do have is the new, the new resin from 3M. Now in terms of the new resin from 3M, they have not called this a self-adhesive resin, they've called it a universal resin. But the beauty of that, it can be used with the bond or it can be used for what I often call budget bonding just on its own as a, basically as a resin cement. It can be used with the bond and the beauty of using it with the bond is that you don't have to cure the bond. If you're using, if you're using the cement, it will cure with the bond. Also, the bond has the advantage that it has a silane in it, so you can coat the inside of your restoration and it also contains MDP. So with this new resin kind of cement, it can be used in two ways. It can be used in its self-adhesive mode. Now the benefit of that is it simplifies all your protocols, but it can also be used basically with a full bonding protocol as well. So really those are the kind of major products I would be using for, for preparing the tooth, conditioning the dentine, but then either the, you know, the materials would be used for placing a composite or basically bonding an indirect restoration. So I just hope that kind of clarifies um, the protocols and the materials that I use within my own practice.